para bailar la bamba. Yeah. So you know what I'm not a big fan of? Me singing at the beginning of the video. Not only that, but me starting a video. Yeah, that's usually uh, Shit. You know, not a good idea. Nope. Not that I'm great at it, but Whew. in comparison, yeah. I'm like fucking a god. <laughs> yeah. So I want to talk about this lady that we both knew mm -hmm. um, called Pino. <laughs> good old Pino. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I do. I have a very short tail. I'm sure you have others. Sure, I uh, do. But uh, one time I went to old Pino's home. Which was our mom's dad's wife? Were they married? Yeah. Yeah, her wife, his wife. Not my mom's mom. He had 10,000 ladies. This just happened to be the latest. And my mom's dad was uh, apparently into the old stink. He had a stink fetish. He probably would really like me because I stink. But I'm not a lady, so maybe not. Anyway, this lady stunk. Bino stunk like shit. One time we went... And she's known to have dirt everywhere, right? I go in there and I'm sitting there with my uh, with my grandmother talking, and I look down on the floor. <laughs> well, first of all, the whole time I'm hearing because there's roaches on the pans that are freaking piled uh, ceiling high in the freaking uh, sink, not washed, but that's fine. I got used to the roaches, despite the fact that I hate roaches. But anyway, I'm sitting there. I look down on the floor, and there's. <laughs> There's a fully cooked, sunny side up egg on the floor <laughs> for no reason. Yeah, you gotta eat it the uh, you know breakfast. Yeah, I guess. So there's that egg. I'm like, that's interesting. Anyway, at this point, I wasn't I wasn't very I wasn't uh, very shy about shitting in places. Now I now I won't shit somewhere else unless it's home. But at the time, I would shit everywhere, shit my pants, and I had to shit at the time. So I went to the old restroom, walked my way there. Down the freaking mugre filled halls. <laughs> and finally got to the old restroom. I went in there. I lift the little lid. And I look up into the <laughs> into the top bowl. You think and, the tank? Uh, the tank. And you know what's there? A good old fashioned burrito. <laughs> a burrito. <laughs> fully wrapped in foil paper. Just waiting there for someone to eat it I assume. <laughs> the roaches. Yeah. Needless said, I did not eat this burrito. But I was really confused. Anyway, that's my tale. Not great. Yeah. Uh, Pino, Pino was an interesting woman. Uh, my grandfather had, as you said, a bazillion concubines. Yeah. And uh, our actual grandmother uh, died in a tragic accident of mm -hmm. which he was a part of. Uh, she flew out the window and, you know. Died. Died. <laughs> so that's the yeah. thing. But our mother also flew out the window and yeah. didn't die. She's so hideous. that's pretty cool. She's so hideously scarred that it passed on to me. Yeah. Which is why I wear the mask. Uh, but yeah, man. Uh, as a result, well, probably not as a result of that, but subsequently, our grandfather went on and fucked every woman on earth, including yeah. probably like, you know, Hillary Clinton or something. Oh, yeah. And yeah, one of them, or I should say the last person to fuck him was Pino. And uh, in case you're wondering, Pino... <laughs> is, is Spanish for, for pine, pine pine tree, which she most definitely did, did not, not smell, smell like. like. She fucking stunk like shit, to be precise. She smelled like something that a bear would uh, lay at the bottom of a pine tree, mainly turds. Turds are better than Pino. That's true. Yeah, smell wise, she was really a nice lady. Oh yeah, actually. she really was really nice. It's, it's just the thing is, she stunk like turds. Like no, it was not turds. It, it was like sweat. Again, turds. turds is great compared to Pino. Pino had like a cumin meets, uh, you know, like sweaty crevice meets butt that's never been showered or washed <laughs> mix. Yeah. Of sense. It's an interesting and, mix. And uh, we come to find out that it was because of uh, grandfather's fetish. He had a thing for stanky women. Yeah. Because the moment he died, the next time we saw Pino, she was like fucking piping clean. She was. And she was she... sparkling clean. Actually smelled like a fucking pine. Then she went insane. Well, that's a whole other yeah, story. That's but another the point story. is, Pino stunk for a long time. Oh, yeah. and she stayed with him for decades almost. And during that entire time, she fucking reeked. Yep. And uh, when I was a kid, I used to be terrified. Because I, I was really anal as a kid about, about you know, cleanliness. Mm. You know, uh, in fact... Up to my 
early 20s that was a thing for me i was like almost ocd level clean with stuff and organizing stuff and that was just a thing that i had uh what broke it was dogs by the way all right because dogs are super fucking cute and i just couldn't resist their charms and their wiles so i married one <laughs> yeah, I was about to had say, sex with it where no, is this uh, going no uh you know cute dogs just broke me you know and dogs are dirty by default yeah. of them being gross you know dander filled hides with legs not to mention the fact that i'm a living spot of shit oh yeah i mean being around you has kind of jaded me to the <laughs> stank of the world but anyway <laughs> the point the is rutabagas now. i was fucking anal about cleanliness mm-hmm. uh back then like super anal so i was like freaked at the idea of being around pino pino was a nightmare for me you know like please get me away from pino and i didn't want to be that dick because i've always had this thing about trying to be nice to people at mm-hmm. least most of the time and i didn't want to be a dick but i didn't want to be hugged by pino and pino oh, loved to hug that was the worst she was a fucking yeah. hugger and you and know it was vice like it was vice like one and two she didn't wear bras oh yeah and you'd be lodged between two sweaty sacks of meat <laughs> and worse if you tried to avoid you know the fucking tits she would go for the underarm hug oh which oh. would get you into cuban country yeah and you're out of there then, you know, fucking knocked out. Like, goddamn Muhammad Ali's victims. Yep. Apparently victimized people. But anyway, <laughs> the point is, Pino was not a good experience for no. me. And I try to avoid her. But, uh, you know, sometimes I'd be like, man, I'm probably seeming like a dick now. So I guess I'll get down. So I'd go into the house. And like you, I encountered, one, tons of roaches. Two, rats. I remember mm. one time I was just sitting in the living room waiting for my mom and my grandmother to, you know, finish talking to Pino and pals. <laughs> and uh, I look over, and here's a little fucking dish just sitting there, a fucking rat in it, cleaning his little forepaws. Yeah, even he was like, oh, God. Yeah, it was like, fuck this Pino shit, I'm out of here. <laughs> Split the rat town USA, because this stinks. And, uh, yeah, and like you, I encountered a burrito, and the burrito <laughs> I encountered was half-eaten. It was in the kitchen, which is a good place for a burrito to be yeah, versus a restroom. A restroom. <laughs> but uh, it was half eaten, and she offered it to me. And I was oh, like, no. No, I don't want a fucking half eaten burrito. What the fuck? You know, but at the same time, I'm, I don't want to be a complete cock. So I'm like, yeah, cool. So I just take it, right? And mm-hmm. I'm holding it in my hand. And eventually, I kind of glance down at it, and I realize that half of a fucking cockroach basically is in oh, no. lodged within the bur- beans in the burrito because of course it had to be beans and i'm like this is not copacetic to my world fucking view as a child even <laughs> someone ate half a roach is what you're saying someone and then then clearly it was not offensive enough to throw away no at least in pino land so yeah pino stunk uh, <laughs> literally but yeah man it's strange that 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 the moment he died, she just was clean again. I wonder what went through her mind that whole fucking time. Like, was she just waiting for that moment? Clearly, she loved the man to some degree because, yeah. fuck's sake, man. You're in like... Well, I know for a fact it took her like a couple years to get clean because she went through a bit of a hard time, understandably. Well, that's, you know, because he died. Yeah, and then she got clean. Literally, not... She wasn't a junkie. She literally got clean. Yeah. She was a dirt junkie, a yeah. filth junkie, funky. So, so yeah, that's, that's, she was a funky. I don't understand. Holy shit! Yep, funky monkey. The point is, Pino reeked, uh-huh. and uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's the story. <laughs> so that's a video. Bro. But anyway, uh, yeah, I can't. I did look. I can't think of any other person in my entire life besides possibly you uh-huh. that has stunk to Pino levels. <laughs> I'm more of a rutabaga. Well, well, you know what, Mister Gluttony. Oh. Fucking stunk. Yeah. Dude, Mr. Gluttony stunk so bad that he put Pino to shame. Pino stunk in a body odor type of way. Gluttony stunk in a how the fuck do you let your body rot to that level way? Like, okay, man's got to piss, right? Mm-hmm. Man goes to urinal. Should there be a scent? No. Maybe like the yeah, scent of hot piss yeah, a little. A little, little uh, asparagus smell maybe if you eat some asparagus. Well, there was no asparagus in prison, at least not that often. 
The point is, a little hot piss stench is not terrible. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Now this again, unless you're eating some horrible garbage, then it's just hot piss, and it goes down the toilet, and, and maybe you catch a whiff of it because you're right above it. Maybe. Well, when fucking gluttony would go and take a piss, dude, it was like if somebody opened their fucking ass crack after having shit themselves for three days straight and will run 60 laps in a fucking jogging suit. Uh-huh. Fuck! <laughs> There's no reason why your fucking penis should stink like shit. Yeah. But his did it. This was so bad. He was taking a piss once, right? And there was a dude taking a shit. Now in prison, when you take a shit, you have to flush right away because nobody wants to smell your brand. Anyway, the guards came in to count and when you count, everybody has to go and sit on their bunks, right? Well, fucking... Gluttony and this other guy were, were doing their business, so they let them stay there, right? So the guard comes in and, and takes their bunk numbers, and and he catches a fucking whiff of something. And it's fucking atrocious. Like, it's so bad that he says something about it in Spanish to the guy on the, on the, on the crapper. Assuming that the guy taking a massive dump is the one that's stinking up the place. Makes sense, right? Common mm-hmm. sense. But the guy on the crapper says, fuck no... It's this stank hoe right here, Mr. Gluteus Gluttony. Mm -hmm. And man, it was. It fucking reeked. Like, remember when I told you that nobody wanted to go in into the showers after him? It wasn't just because of the shit stomping. It was because he literally stonk fucking back. It's got to be like some sort of disease or some shit. Well, no, you know what? He didn't shower that often either. So that's a thing. He stunk. It was bad. Yeah. Bino is a god compared to him. The point is, fucking shower. Yeah. It's, the, it's the moral of this fucking story. It's the moral of it. Anyway, this was a vid. This was a thing we fucking did for some <laughs> damn reason. Yeah, it was. Just glad that, that Bino is scrubbed now. It smells like pines. End of story. Hit like, share, subscribe, and the notification buttons. After you scrub, I guess, your, yeah. your stanky crevices. Yep. Hashtag Sankey Crevices. <laughs>